and the gas can. Wow. Holy crap. Really? That's a shit whack of gas cans. Alright, barrel. And on the way by, since I set the cabin as my base, we can go back if we haven't already. And smash that lean to. Get some lashings for my tanning rack because that thing wants six of them. Here's my axe to Beautiful. In case I end up making my own lashings, I am going to take the leaves this time. And the fuel. And whatever else I left in here. Nice. Okay, barrel. Barrel is this way. There's a little cabin you can, well, it's a fairly big cabin actually, you can claim for your own. I've done a playthrough where I set up in it. It's, it's a good spot. It's got lots of flat area. Um, but the cabin keeps resetting. I built a small cabin for my NPCs. And every time I load in or reload, it resets to the main cabin as my base instead of the small one for the NPCs. Then I have to go reset it and chase all those NPCs back to where they belong. Um, and when it does that, it opens up all my gates around my small perimeter. Not my large perimeter, thankfully. But um, it'll open up all the gates, so i got to run around closing gates and hurting NPCs and it's just a pain in the butt. I've never had that problem before, only in this area here. Okay, we are going to come back. I wonder if I can take that. I'm going to say we can come back for that second barrel. But if I can take it, why don't we do that? I'm going to take them lights too, but not today. I don't need them yet until I get a gen set. I wonder if it likes that. Let's find out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's happy with that. Good. Saves me a trip. Okay, let's go fill one of these things up. Since I don't need to kill a bear, I do have a hide. I think I'm going to go to a safer part of the lake. Do I have time for that? No, I have two barrels. I didn't have two barrels, maybe, because there'd still be maybe spot to put something else on. But let's go fill up one of these barrels, get rid of the barrels. Then we can go put more stuff in our truck. I haven't seen the bear. That worries me. I did uh, load a new game here, like uh, load back in, so there should be a bear somewhere. Oh yeah, fill it up, right? What'd you do with the damn bucket? You left it in your water purifier. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're not filling up a barrel, but we are going to leave one here for when we do. Just make it easier. Take the rest of this back to camp and get a bucket. Well, shit. 
You'll be happy to know that I'm not this bad in real life. Trucks are expensive. I can usually make this corner without getting shot. There. That's a bandit camp back there. The starter bandit camp. There's three guys in there. No NPCs. Easiest camp to take. And that's the first one we're going to do when we get around to that point. Because they've got a couple of lockers and some other... Oh, what the hell did I do with my bucket? Some other good stuff. What did I do with that damn bucket? Here we go again. What did I do with the... Uh, fill in the blank. There it is. I'm not going to take 45 minutes to craft another one. What time is it? 10.51. I could, but I'm not going to. Okay, there's another locker. Just going to leave that here. And we're going to leave this one here. That's going to be our clean, our clean water bucket. Barrel, rather. That can go there. All right. Back to where we were. Try not to get shot. Right through the sign, I like that. Okie dokie. Alright, and we're just going to leave that bucket in the barrel. Might as well take that home. Just make sure it's coming with us. Don't want to get all the way back to camp and find out I have to go back and get the barrel. Okay, well that worked quite well. Don't shoot at me. Okay, now we're going to go get our drying rack and the saw machine. And we can make a drying rack. Or a tanning rack. That can go right. There. Do I want to dump off anything else? Yeah, probably because there's some areas I want to scoop some stuff from. I don't need to be carrying this around. Bottle of booze, maybe, hey? <laughs> the way I drive. Oops. Oh, well, that's one way to do it, too. Gonna stuff this stuff in here, organize it later. Four lashings. This little cabinet's the equivalent of three of those gray storage lockers, which really hangs on to quite a bunch of stuff. Fifteen of them. But it takes up a whole heck of a lot room than fifteen of them storage lockers. I need the pickaxe. That stays in the truck. I need the rifle ammo. I don't have that rifle yet. But I will soon when I go and Loot that blockade. 
to stay there. Okay. Save manually, save often. I know I didn't do that the first couple of days, and I got real lucky there. Okay, we are going to go get... Okay, we're going back to that red barn. Near that red barn, I don't believe I did it on day two. It's been a while since I recorded that. There's another starting lean-to shelter that you can bash. Maybe I did it because I was down this way. But we're going to go find out. This starting lean-to down here, oh, this red barn here is full of infected. This starting lean-to here is the very first place I came in at after the map update. And the first thing I did was run up that hill. The second thing I did was fall unconscious. I did not know there was a great big camp up there full of snipers, but I found that one out the hard way. So after I came back in, what I did is I explored the other way, and I found another road going up a hill, so I went up it too, and I got popped by a sniper again. Nice. So, if you spawn in here, don't go up the hill. Unless you have a death wish. Don't go up the hill and leave this red barn alone. Alright. Now I've got all kinds of lashings. Get in there. All kinds of lashings for the tanning rack. Let's go get our stuff. And they'll come they'll come out of that barn fairly far and chase you farther than you might think gotta make sure you're ready for them before you start stirring up that hornet's nest all right here we go get our stuff I think I left didn't I leave that yeah I did I left the suitcase up here I think And I left a little goodie over here. Oh, batteries. And another electronic cart I cannot scoop. Yep. Uh, yeah. Shit. Okay, well. There should only be six because I managed to not drop one on day one. and So I've been wearing one and carrying one. Not optimal. Yeah, I guess eh? I do need the components and the duct tape. I'd like to get a repair bench going as soon as possible. Lots of people say that it's more economical to uh, just build new weapons like um, especially the combat knives but the combat knives want an obscene amount of scrap and components. I would rather keep my components to build chicken fencing because that's what I build all my perimeters out of. So I like to repair combat knives instead. Come on. And really, after you start... What am I going to put in there? After you start killing the infected at night, uh, you really have a lot of duct tape. Because duct tape, I think, is the limiting factor there for repairs. But those night infected, they, they carry freaking rolls and rolls of that stuff. 
You start killing them and you you got a lot of duct tape to do your repairs with. So that's how I like to play that. Alright. Go back and get our drying rack. And the gas can. Wow. Holy crap. Really? Huh. That's a shit whack of gas cans. How are our guts doing? 34%. Okay. Meat's dry though. Also, the night infected, you can get a whole stack of salt just in one night if you manage to raid most of them, or loot most of them, rather. Hmm, there's some wood I missed. Okay. What can we put in here? Oh, let's put that. What are you doing? These suitcases, I tell you, they got a mind of their own. I'm going to use this drying rack as part of my perimeter. It works quite well, and I haven't had the infected smash one yet. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Alright. What else do we need to do in this part of town? Well, we got water cooking, so I don't need the cokes as much as I used to. Colas, rather. Okay, we can put some stuff in here. Four lashings, that's beautiful. Look at that, stacking almost a half a duct tape. That's good because at some point I'm going to have to smash my knife on a tree. They really take damage when you do that. Okay, where are we going now?